A Gresham man is fighting to survive after getting hit by a car. This happened on New Year's Day on East Powell and Northeast Liberty in Gresham. And tonight, Ray Lopez's family is speaking out about the crash that sent him into intensive care. Chris Holmstrom joins us live from OHSU with more on this story. Chris. Good evening, Ken. I spoke with Ray Lopez's family. They tell me they're trying to stay strong, but as you can imagine, definitely a scary situation. And tonight, he's still in critical condition in the ICU. He's always the one that's the life of the party. Great sense of humor. Don Gosser describes her baby brother, Ray Lopez, as a fun loving guy. But on New Year's Day, his life changed. The gal didn't slow down or anything, she just didn't see him. Lopez was getting off the bus in Gresham, and as he was walking through a crosswalk, a driver slammed right into him. He had, they said, severe facial trauma, a lot of bleeding from the mouth and his face. He was rushed to OHSU with life threatening injuries. His family tells me he suffered extreme trauma and broken bones throughout the right side of his body. I didn't know if he was going to make it. I mean, I've never seen him that still, and I mean, the bruises and everything. After undergoing several surgeries, Lopez started showing improvements, like breathing on his own and starting to talk. He doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know why he's here. And we've told him several times, and then, you know, he'll doze off for a while, and then he wakes up again and wants to know again where he is and why he's here. The family says this Gresham father still has a long road ahead of him, but they are confident that he will make a full recovery. As for the driver, authorities tell COIN 6 she is cooperating in the investigation. Police also say that speed and alcohol do not appear to be factors in the crash. And I definitely have sympathy for her because I know she didn't set out to do this. But when I heard that she swerved around traffic because she was in a hurry and she ran right into him, that makes, you know, the sympathy a little harder. And as you can imagine, it'll be a while before Ray can talk and walk again. But his family tells me once he gets out of the hospital, he'll go through several months of rehabilitation. Reporting live from OHSU, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Coin 6 News.